Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are going to be talking about drywall repair. In today's video, um, some contractors have removed the, uh, the air conditioning and they have filled up the gap with uh, some silicone caulking and have, you know, kind of done a bung up job about it. So we have to scrape off everything and uh, we're going to patch it up with something uh, they call a California patch. So if you have a dent, if you have broken drywall, uh, this is the best way to patch your uh, wall surface and prep it for painting later on. Um, before we begin, like, share and subscribe and we'll get straight into the video. So as you can see, they did quite a bung up job. This is still soft, uh, soft caulking. I'm going to cut this all out and see if we can get a patch in uh, to prep this area for painting. And as usual, before we begin, we need to mask up uh, all the areas that we don't want to get dirty, put on your drop cloth, and then we can start work. Cue the time lapse. Well, so now the place has been nicely taped up, everything is protected, we can start cutting out that, uh, that area up there. So let me get my tool belt and I'll be right back. So before we begin, um, because this paint is old and it's an uh, aircon area, the plaster has begun to you know, um, sink in and start flaking. So I'm going to start, I've got a variety of scrapers here, I'm going to start chipping away at all the paint. I'm going to open this up and we're going we're gonna to see what's underneath and uh, hopefully we can patch up everything. Alright, so comes to the main star of the show today, the hole that the previous contractors made. Um, we've got to make a patchwork. But first, we need to see what's on the inside. So you come in with a, a bit of a blade and you start uh, cutting away. Oh, at the hole. Oh, it's gummy, it's soft. It's not good. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle around it. One. Okay. Then on the top. And probably this big. This big. Um, they try to get as much of the hole as possible, right? Okay. Just gonna cross the front, cross the back, and then this is a drywall saw. It's designed to uh, cut through drywall. And this over here, you can see a little saw tip. Put it in uh, a corner, right? Just do something like that. You wiggle it in, it should cut. Okay. There we go. Then push. Ooh, I can feel it. Okay, so I don't want to cut all the way in, damage something in the back. There we go. there's some stuff there so I, I don't want to be too aggressive um, once you get like a c-shaped thing and cut this part off back of a tool start knocking and see what's inside okay so that's the old uh, Air condition piping. Oops. We have some supports over here. I see what they did. Alright, so there is a steel bar here. I can't go any further. So that's going to be the end of the, our patchwork. We'll putty this up. You know, probably use a bit of uh, fiberglass tape, but we have to get the um, the pipes shortened. This is not good, so I'll shorten the pipes. Probably I'll bend them in a bit, so that I could fit my uh, California patch right there. And now we've got our hole. Um, we come in with a spare piece of drywall. Okay, 
you want your patch to be about an inch above and below and on the left and the right. So I think this is a good size because it gives me an inch here and an inch here. And then up here, I'll probably take an inch on top uh, and an inch below. Just score like that. Break. You know, you fold it, you just cut. Okay. This is the waist piece. So I got my good piece here. You want to start from the back. You score the back, not the front. So mark it again. Somewhere there. One, two, and then from the top. Just make sure it's centered. You go one, two. So I'll score it all the way down. Score it all the way down across like that. And what you want is this kind of tic-tac-toe grid. Um, and you break off. So you want to break off leaving just the center piece there. Okay. Piece of paper out in front, so you put it, peel it off like that. Okay, also you peel it off. And this one. This one. And that's your patch. Okay. You know, before you do anything, test and see if it fits. Okay. If it doesn't, might need to do a bit more trimming. Uh, in my case, I do. So, this one seems a bit big. Yeah, I'll need to trim this part off a bit. That's about that much. There we go, the patch fits. Okay, I'm gonna mix up a bit of putty, I'm gonna come back. Okay, I've got my putty, this joint compound. Okay. Now, what you wanna do is uh, apply some to the edge. Apply some to the edge of the patch, and then the rest goes all around the hole. So remember, um, one inch to the top, one inch to the side, bottom, here. You want a generous amount because you want a lot of squeeze out and for it to give a, a good uh, bond to your, to your wall. Okay. And then the patch goes up right there. Okay. So you press the patch in and squeeze out all the excess. Then we come in with even more putty and smooth this whole area out. Right, so uh, I don't have my mic. Okay, um, I've just uh, finished sanding it. Uh, you can look; it's almost uh, it's almost smooth, almost as good as new. So uh, that's how you do a California patch to patch up drywall. Um, Got to give it a bit to dry. We're going to paint it over so hopefully you can't see any more of the imperfections. Uh, if you like that tip, uh, check up here for more um, tips on how to repair your furniture and down here for any uh, for the list of all my repair videos. And oh, everything I use is in the description down below. So yeah, uh, check it out if you want to uh, buy whatever I'm using. Take care and until next time, cheers. See you guys.